Alan's going full steam ahead with his parfait, while Tom's adding almonds to his shortbread mix. That'll be served as a base for the Highland Crowdy Cheesecake Mousse, accompanied by summer fruit jelly, strawberry crisps and berries. It's a hard one, the desserts. You know, what is it that they're craving for, these troops? And I've come to the conclusion that cheesecake is mousse is, is pretty high up there on the list of things they'll be looking for. Alan's creation is a caramel ball which contains raspberry parfait and crispy oats. It's his interpretation of a traditional Scottish dessert. Today is a take on Cranachin, okay? It's using all the component parts. I've got cream, I've got honey, I've got whiskey, I've got raspberries and I've got oats. That's it. And a little bit of Big Al magic. How long are you going to be in the oven for? 20 minutes, Chief, all right? 20 minutes, OK. It's put me under a wee bit of pressure. I could do with the oven for an hour, so, uh, yeah. Alan, who's called the lion by the staff back in his restaurant, is getting frustrated. You're right, Alan, there you look like you're getting the lion's temper up a wee bit there. A bit of a rage on there. Alan's taking his frustrations out on the food, crushing the hard-set fondant into a powder for his caramel balls. The Lion King's a bit agitated there because, you know, the cheesecake needs to bake. I've got to make sure that I look after myself. So I've got it in the oven, and now he's got to wait. I've got to nail my desire, and I can't get in the oven, so it's going to be worth waiting for. I've got a technique. He's not going to have seen it before. It's going to get him there, for sure. Tom's holding his ground stoically, but Alan's secret weapon is clearly worrying him. So what is that you've got there, Alan? That's like nothing I've ever seen before. Of my sugar powder there. As soon as I'm allowed in the oven, I'm going to bake these in the oven at 180 degrees, uh -huh. and then I'm going to have a, a little bit of burning myself going on. So Excellent. Got... Good. But Tom still doesn't know what Alan's up to, and now he's opening up another front. There we go, touch of champagne. Tom knows that Alan's deliberately denying him intelligence. All he can do is tear strips off his rhubarb and focus on winning. Tomorrow's judgment day is every man for themselves. It'll be sad to have a loser this week, that's for sure. Someone's got to win. How's it going? Ooh, do these want to go in the oven? They want to go in the oven. They've been wanting to go in the oven for some considerable amount of time. Oh, do I get the impression of our lion is now caged and pacing uh, about thusly? The lion is in a corner at the moment, and you know the lion in a corner is a dangerous place to be. Tom, have you been tormenting our lion? Don't know what he's talking about, Jeremy. <laughs> As you have to confront those three judges tomorrow, how do you feel? Do you think you can face defeat? Don't want to taste defeat. Somebody's not going to be happy. Ha, ha, ha.